I'll see. Good afternoon. Welcome to the fourth annual Shoals Blues Challenge. We're glad you're here. This is a joint effort between the Music Preservation Society and the uh, Department of Entertainment Industry here at UNA. Uh, this is our fourth time to do that. Um, we depend on regional participation, uh, and we have had regional participation all the way from the Shoals down to Birmingham and south of Birmingham, and two of our acts today are from Birmingham. Which brings me to the next thing is that our numbers are a little down this time. We have two solo duo acts and only one band, but by rules, the band does have to play in order to be selected to represent the Music Preservation Society and UNA at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis in January. And I would um, like to say that last year, our solo duo winner, if you'll remember those of you who were here last year, Two Blue, they made the top eight in Memphis last year. They did really, really well. A great uh, bunch of guys from, oh, what is that county south of Birmingham that they are from? Shelby County. Shelby. Shelby County. Yeah, they're from Shelby County. They represented us last year, and they made the top eight, so good for them. And hopefully our winners this year will do just as well. For those of you who have not been to one of these before, it's a very structured event. The judging and the scoring has a very distinct rubric. The acts will play a 20-minute set. If you'll look directly behind you, there is a clock that will count down. And there are penalties for going over that 20-minute 20, uh, 20 set, and so the acts can be here and see exactly where they are in real time uh, at any point in the set. Uh, there are four judges, and I will tell you more about them a little bit later. But acts are judged on blues content, which actually has a high value in the rubric, uh, originality, vocal talent, instrumental talent, and stage presence. And each one of those five criteria are weighted as to the importance. And what do you think the most important criteria is? Blues content. It's weighted times four. So whatever their blues content score is, is multiplied times four in order to get a total score. So it's very, uh, very serious and very, uh, very much rubric driven. Um, and we're glad to sponsor this again. Our first act is from Montgomery, Alabama. John Bull and Ed Trickett. John Bull is on the and vocals and is a member of the Alabama Blues Hall of Fame. As a former Montgomery Riverboat captain, and he has some great stories about this, by the way. I hope we hear it again. You may not have time for this one. Uh, he's a former Riverboat captain. Actually, true story. He used to entertain his passengers. He came up the river. For the, he gave up the river for the road years ago, but now you can still catch him most Sundays aboard the Blues Cruise in Montgomery. Ed Pickett on guitar and vocals is a multi-instrumentalist, as you will see, out of Montgomery. His rural roots bring a down-home feel to his vocals, guitar, and occasionally resonator mandolin. Together, their music speaks, speaks of decades spent entertaining in southern juke joints, festivals, and clubs. Please welcome John Bull and Ed Pickett. For reasons that have nothing to do with, with Ed and I, this song that you hear right now uh, is probably the most important song you're going to hear while you're here. Um, the, uh, in 1951, Oldsmobile had the uh, hottest car on the road, the fastest car on the road, the Rocket 88. And uh, that same year, um, Ike Turner went in with his band, uh, and Jackie Brinston sung this thing. They recorded this thing. It's Sun Studios, this tune, Rocket 88. Um, your very own Sam Phillips was the purveyor of that studio and the engineer. And uh, they thought they were going in there just to record another up-tempo R&B tune. And, and uh, later on, it was decided that this was the first rock and roll tune ever recorded. <laughs> There's no no other make than to reintroduce my daughter in you. Yes, it's straight, just won't wait. Everybody likes my rocket in the from the rock star. The V8 motor, baby, my design, I give up a tiny girl, no man. It's going with me right now, around town to do. Thank you. 
competition we're going to do this blue song by Muddy Waters <laughs> we hope you like this one I'm going to play the Muddy Waters part John's going to be little Walter we hope you like our version of blow wind blow
go to sleep. Yeah, goodbye, bird. I don't have no more to say. Well, I know you don't love me. Go ahead and have your way. This next song has an introduction to it. It's not supposed to be sad, though you might feel it that way. It's a song about hope. Because in this life, we need hope. Because in this life, we have lots of troubles. Am I right? I know I'm right. <laughs> We have hard times and people mistreat us, cheat on us, do us wrong in all kinds of ways. We have sickness and calamities and misfortune. Sometimes we do the wrong thing and we let our loved ones down. We know we've done the wrong thing, but we beat ourselves up over and over again. You might be going through something today. And if you are, don't worry. It might be rough for a while, but it's going to get better. Because tomorrow is a brand new day. Oh, well, I'm feeling fine. Almost all the time. Yes, my life is getting better and better every day. I want to go where I've never been before. And tomorrow is going to be a brand new day. Don't you know the problems I've had some? You know, a loser, I've been one, but that's okay. There are so many things I left undone along the way. But tomorrow, if I don't die, Will I give it one more try? Yes, I will. Because tomorrow is going to be a brand new day. Tell them about it. Just don't give up. 
fuck on me Because tomorrow is going to be A brand new day What will be, will be He won't live on me Because tomorrow is going to be A brand new day A brand new day Thank you. Well, this uh, this thing we're gonna do now, this last thing, it just evolved over the years. It started out as a little boogie and just kind of just ended up like this here. Hope you like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, from Montgomery, Alabama, by way of Juliet, Illinois, member of the Alabama Blues Hall of Fame, put your hands together for Mr. John Bull. Thank you. 
Thank you. One more time, John Bull and Pickett. Some of you uh, may have been here Thursday night for the Salt and Pepper series. There was a whole, there were four different acts of harmonica and guitar players, or harmonica and uh, keyboard players. So we had a heart full night. Um, anybody here for that event? It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. That's a series that uh, we do quarterly. This was the first in the series, and we won in October. January and April, so please do join us in this space for those events. Wanted to, while we're getting set up for the next solo duo act, to introduce a couple of the judges, and I'll, I'll introduce the other two later. Um, interestingly enough, at UNA, we have faculty who not only are academic experts, but many of them have experience in their own field, and two of those are with us. One is my colleague, Dr. Chandler Bridges, who is a faculty member in the Department of Recording Industry. He's a recording engineer and producer with many, many, many credits. He's got gold and platinum records on his walls in there for being an engineer and doing, working on various projects. He's a certified Pro Tools instructor, which makes us and him special in this region. He's a native of the South, uh, Atlanta, Florida, via Los Angeles, and his research area, among other things, and if, as if being a recording engineer weren't enough, is music and cognition, and many, many other things. So welcome Dr. Chandler Bridges, who is new to here at Also new to UNA this year is uh, Dr. Brian Dempsey, who is in the history department. You might say, history department? Why do they know about blues in the history department? Well, they do. Several of them do, and Brian knows a lot. He's a native of uh, the Mississippi Delta, and he did his dissertation in music tourism in Mississippi. He works in the historic preservation era, area here at UNA and uh, has also has a background in the music business. He worked in the artist management world in Nashville for eight years along the way of getting to being a history professor. So please say hello to Dr. Brian Dempsey. Our next act is queuing up and getting ready. about an American art form, the blues, is that you want it to continue. You do not want it to die, you know, back in the 1920s. Blues and roots music needs to continue as a uniquely American art form. So nothing is more exciting than having youth being interested in this. And the Quakes are youth. Kobe Marshall and Jonathan Stanford, um, Kobe on drums and Jonathan on vocals and guitar, and in their, own, in their own words, he says, we are a couple of 19-year-olds from North Alabama. We're a new band, but eager to start. We don't have any social media, and that's okay. A lot of blues acts don't have any social media. Uh, social media isn't everything, right? Um, uh, but we'd be happy to audition if needed. They have been so nice. They were one of the first acts that reached out and to enter into this competition. We're delighted to have them. We're delighted that they're young and interested in participating. Won't you welcome the Quakes?
If you don't mind, give me just a second. I broke a string. I gotta go get a new. Gotta go get a new string. style but uh we're gonna try it out for you anyway and see how it goes so here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
songs for the girl to leave and the guy to be all down and out and sad about it. This is kind of a play on that. So anyway, this is called My Baby Done Left Me.
own importance. This last step change is going to take a minute because we're moving from solo duo acts to band, so it'll take a minute. But I have a few minutes to introduce the other two judges, which I'm happy to do. Um, probably his third, second or third time judging for us is Chad Green. Chad Green is a, is a musician, but is a music business professional and has uh, been working in the publishing world for probably close to 20 years. He's a graduate of UNA in 1996, I got that right, and he's one of our alumni from a long time ago, and uh, he has worked for ASCAP, he's been in the music publishing business, he's still in the music publishing business, he had his, has his own music publishing company, actually went back to graduate school a few years ago and earned a master's degree and is now teaching for us some, when we can get him to come down and teach for us, and we're delighted to have him do that. Uh, and he also teaches on occasion uh, in Nashville as well at a couple of different places up there. Uh, Chad Green, say hello to Chad Green. And he is a native, uh, it's not Spruce Pine, but it's one of those towns down there. Hamilton. Huh? Hamilton. Hamilton. He's a native of Hamilton, so those Hamiltonites who might hear Chad Green is a product of that town. Hamilton has produced some really good musicians down there. Steve Jones is from Hamilton. Mike McGuire, the McGuire brothers are from Hamilton. There's a fairly rich musical heritage down there. So, Chad Green, thank you for doing this again. And lastly, uh, our, our fourth judge today, how many of you were here last year? Okay, do you remember the band that won last year? It was the Sassy Brown Band, and that was their second year in a row to win and go to Memphis and represent us. Therefore, they were uh, ineligible to participate this year. One has to, after going to Memphis a, a, a number of years, you have to sit out a year. But Lauren Brown, who is Sassy Brown, uh, the, the vocalist for that band, has agreed to come up and actually judge for us this year, which makes it great because she understands from the other side of things. Uh, the rubric, how you are scored, and Lauren has been in, in the business doing this for two or three years, right Lauren? <laughs> a little bit longer than that. Yeah, a little bit longer than that. I, I didn't want to say too long, because you're still quite young, uh, but you've done it for a number of years and is active in the Birmingham Blues scene with the Sassy Brown Band. They're working all the time. If you follow them on social media, you know they're always playing somewhere. Um, and say hello to Lauren Brown and thank her for Okay, I'm going to step away for a minute and let them finish this set change. Hey, hey, hey. Got you. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I got you. Hey. Yeah, just, we'll get it. Just, 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 just. Eric is so patient. <laughs> just check out the road. Everybody give a round of applause for the sound man. Making it sound so good tonight. That is the one guy I haven't introduced is our, our what we call our front of house guy, the main room manager, Mr. Alex Witzcheck. <laughs> this is not easy. He makes it look easy to do this kind of turn around this quickly. All right, the Edmonds Butler band is Gary Edmonds, Josh Butler, Eric Simmons, and Jesse Suttle. They are a Birmingham-based blues band with Southern Soul flavors. Playing regionally, they've entertained at Ground Zero in Clarksville, Clarksdale, sorry, at, at Bill Street in Memphis. You can regularly catch them performing in Birmingham as well as Tuscaloosa. And though they are our only band for today, they still have to play and play a 20-minute set, which we're glad to have them come up here and do this anyway. They actually came in second in Birmingham last week in the Birmingham uh, Blues Challenge. And only one band can go per society, so bands kind of move around. If you come in second, and then you can move around to another one. And so we're glad to have them uh, with us today. So please welcome the Edmonds Bumper Band. Oh, 
Okay.
sweet sugar turned your lamb down the love.
I'm going to call an audible here. Um, these guys drove all the way from Birmingham to come up here really on the technicality because they had to in order to enter the competition. And since they are our only band that entered, they're going to Memphis to represent us. There's a question. Uh, I wonder if it, since you drove all this way, we've got some paperwork to do back there before we announce winners. Oh, yeah. Would you mind doing a couple more songs? Yeah. Just, they're great. Right? And if you have, you guys are music fans or you wouldn't be here, if you have any control or any input over talent that is hired in this town, various organizations, wouldn't you love to see more bands like this? More Thank <laughs> you. 
This is weird. I'm sure I play the play. Yes, I play at church or something. I used to be I'm supposed to be rap with something. These people throw us up. Tell my wife, we got home and had to play for 200 people that never said a word. <laughs> I'm just kidding.
give it up again to Evelyn Funkenbaum. They will be going to represent the Mint Preservation Society and us at the, uh, the International Blues Challenge, which I believe is the end of January. Uh, sometimes it's January, February, or it's end of January this year. And uh, we'll be in touch about that. So thank you guys for coming up. the scores and we have a winner for the solo duo uh, competition and it is uh, John Bull and Ed Pickett. They will be doing that for the solo duo. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting this. We appreciate it. Encourage your musician friends to come and compete with us again next year because we will be doing it next year. Good night. Good afternoon.